Let's bust out five winners in the Vikings beating the Bills to go eight and one. Right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lumpaga Show. A very happy One Bar and Lumpaga Show. The Vikings coming out, killing any doubters, going 8-1, and one, beating the Bills in Buffalo. We're going to talk about our top five winners. Make sure in the comments, let us know your winners. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We want to get 9,000 subs. If you're watching this, hit that sub button. And also, hit up that Patreon page. And before we get into it, congratulations to Venomous, one of our loyal viewers. He knows what we're Another doing. kid. He's so damn potent. Uh, yeah, I'm still in awe. I'm still in shock that the Vikings pulled this one out. Um, it looked bad. It looked bleak. I mean, there's been games that look bleak, but this one probably was the bleakest of all. But the Vikings end up going 8-1. They go to Buffalo. They pull out the win. They won the craziest games you'll ever see in your life. Overcame a ton of odds. Uh, battled the refs at that point. Battled the Bills. Great team. One of the best teams in the NFL. Vikings are 8-1. and And I hope this ends all talk of the war of the Vikings is real deal. They're the, they're the fucking real deal. They go to Buffalo, play yeah. against a team with Josh Allen, which appeared to be completely healthy Josh Allen, and beat yeah. their asses. And just the best way is the way they beat them. I mean, it's not yeah. even like it was they came out and, came out and kicked their ass. They were down. Yeah. Everything was against the wall. They played it's like their, a Rocky movie. They, exactly. They paid their balls off and came out and still beat them. So we're talking about our five winners. Let's do it in no particular order. Let's start off with our beautiful running back, Dalvin Cook. 14 rushes, 119 yards, a touchdown, and that beautiful long run of 81 yards that got us right back into this ballgame. And that was it. You said it. That was it. The 81-yard touchdown run that caught the Vikings back in this thing, gave them life, gave them hope. It just rejuvenated this whole team. Uh, the only criminal thing I see here, the 14 carries, I feel like he should have had twice that today because the Bills couldn't stop Dalvin Cook for shit. The best, I mean, when they were handing the ball in the fourth quarter in overtime, I mean, he was getting first down damn near on every touch. So, uh, yeah. Dilly Dally, beautiful. Everything about him is well, wonderful. And we have to mention, he's going against his brother. He wants to, look, you know, show him up. Little brother can't outdo him. And uh, Dylan Cook showed who the real cook in the kitchen was today. Wow. Wow. And let's not, I mean, this Buffalo defense is the real deal. It's not like he's going oh, against some so good defense. I mean, so they're good. very, very good. <laughs> So Dilly Dally just ripping it off 8.5 yards a carry. And I got to be honest, even when he got that 81-yard touchdown, it was great. It came at a great time. Yeah. Still, every bit about me was like, they're still not going to win this game. I'm really glad that happened, but confidence was low. So this was a that huge was play. Huge play. And that's the kind of play you need to make to uh, at least give hope. on the side. Even if the team feels it, the fans Eight may not feel one. the team feels it. I, I, it's so good. It's so good. Eight and one. All right, let's go to the obvious one. Yeah. Our, our, our wide receiver that will go down in history if you're retired tomorrow is one of the best Vikings to ever play. Justin Jefferson. <laughs> oh, his stat line is ten for one ninety three and a touchdown, and that doesn't even go into explain what he actually did in this game. The catches he was making, uh, he's got guys on him. He's going up. He's Lucky. making these very tough contested catches and then he probably i'm gonna say i don't know i've seen some great catches in my day look at the george pickens one the odell beckham jr the catch he made today it might have been better than both of those uh, i don't know how it ended up in his hands in the bounds it, 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 i still it looked like the defender had it somehow it ended up with just jefferson's hands it was crazy it was insane this guy he's so damn good i can't even i can't even think of a word to explain it microcosm maybe I don't know what that means. I used to have micro machines and they were awesome. Uh, you know what? It, this reminds me of the David Tyree Super Bowl catch. It was just weird. Yeah. It shouldn't have been caught. It should have hit the ground. It was just insane. He pulls it out and uh, just threw it all over her chest. It was beautiful. <laughs> so Justin Jefferson, a very common right. theme to our top fives every damn game, but he earned this. And the best part is everyone's like, oh, Stefan Diggs against Jefferson. Oh, yeah. And Jefferson outdid him. He won. And, and, close. and, and let's not forget, Diggs, Diggs was good today, too. Ah, Diggs was making some crazy. Jefferson was better. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Diggs was great, and Jefferson was even better. All right, let's go. Eh, let, let's see. We'll, we'll finish on the opposite side of the ball. This might be a little bit 
maybe a little dicey here, but Kirk Cousins, uh, I'll let you go. I, I've been hogging you. Well, I think it's second half Kirk Cousins. At first half, he wasn't good. Uh, he was throwing the ball in the dirt, uh, making some bad decisions, looked indecisive. Uh, and even early in the second half, I think his really bad interception was actually technically in the third quarter. So maybe we should call this fourth quarter Kirk Cousins because – this is when he steps up. This is when he puts the chains on. He takes the shirt off, oils up those abs. He says, fuck it. I'm playing some football. You guys can all suck on my balls. And Kirk Cousins, clutch, 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 clutch. This guy came to play when it mattered. And this is why the Vikings are 8-1. and one. It's not that Kirk Cousins is letting up the stat sheet in meaningless games, meaningless losses. He is making plays that make the Vikings win football games. And he did it again today. Yeah, if if, if... – People bitching about Kirk Cousins makes me so damn mad. It makes me want to take a lot, I guess, and punch him in the crotch. I mean, give me a oh. break. This guy is a top 10 quarterback. He might not be top five. He might be number 10, but he's a top 10 quarterback. He's got ice in his piss. He's got fire out of his ass because this man wants to do anything he can do oh, to get the win. Doctor. You see this guy rushing? He doesn't ever slide. He lowers his shoulder. <laughs> Screw you. He knows he's not going to get hurt. He's yeah. tough as nails. Kirk Cousins, he goes out and throws some gross-ass interceptions. He had two. Should he have had five? Probably, but he doesn't care. He still goes out there and plays his ass off and gets the dub. Those throws he was throwing to Justin Jefferson, even at the end of the game, were beautiful. He doesn't care. It's like he fucks up, and he just doesn't remember it. He doesn't care. He comes back out, keeps throwing the thing around. So Kirk Cousins needs to get some damn love, and he is absolutely a winner. (laughs) I'm really glad you mentioned that, uh, how he likes to take a hit. Because did you see the replay when he got hit? He licked his lips before (laughs) he took that hit. He knew it was coming. He was ready for it. He licked his lips. He wanted to taste it (laughs) so bad. That's what Kirk O'Chains does. He tastes those hits. Kirk O'Chains. Hey, there's other channels out there that will bash Kirk Cousins till the day they die. It's not this channel. We love him. (laughs) No. No. We no, he licks lot. his lips, and we lick his lips. We lick our lips when we think about him. All right, let's go to the defense side of the ball. We got two defensive winners. We could have picked a couple. Daniel Hunter had a good game. Eric Hendricks had some yeah. big plays, obviously. But we're going yeah. differently. We got to start with uh, Patrick Peterson. I mean, he, he sealed the deal. Two interceptions. Patrick Peterson had a rough. Some maybe tackling wasn't great, but when you get the game winning yeah. interception, you're getting you're you're going to be in the list. I feel like he was a little, a little bit like Kirk Cousins today. Second half was better in the first half. He was definitely uh, juked out a couple of those Devin Singletary runs. Uh, but the old man keeps making plays, and I was just screaming for him, just take a knee, just take a knee on that last interception. He sealed yeah. the deal, picked that thing off. Uh, Patrick Peterson, uh, two interceptions. I mean, and, and it was huge. He was the man who made the play to finally put this game to an end. Vikings win. And uh, I really feel like, and I think you mentioned it earlier, Let's 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 sign this guy till he till he's done. Let's just keep saying yeah, he's, <laughs> he's great. I love him. Uh, I mean, watching that last drive where the Bills were coming down. I mean, at no point if you were watching this thinking that we were going to get turned over, you're a liar. They were just it was just easy, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it happened. PP, boom, done. Let's go to yeah. our last one. Final winner of the game, and remember to put your winners down in the comments. Well, because I'll give you the honors. Uh, this guy is my new favorite Viking of all time. <laughs> I didn't even know he was actually active today. It's our cornerback. He's all of five foot two. It's Duke Shelley. Uh, the little elfin Viking comes up, makes a huge play. Could have been pass interference. Maybe. Yeah, probably should have been. Didn't matter. There was no flag. He made a huge play. And I think was it I think it was was the fourth quarter overtime. We're still not sure about that. Whatever it was, a play that took uh, six points off the board before the Bills and the Vikings end up winning this thing because Duke Shelley made a damn play it's like he wasn't even looking it was the weirdest thing he was like turn and he still swatted it away duke shelley looking like a 15 year pro future hall mm-hmm. of famer swatted that thing away just start, yeah. walks back to the huddle said screw it this is just like a regular day i am duke shelley yeah. you can kiss my ass i don't care who you are swatted away why was he out there i'm glad he was <laughs> i'm glad he was because if it was andrew booth i think it might have been a different scenario so duke i shelley, like to think he just ran out there Duke Shelley, we signed him. He's been on the practice call. We bring him up, and he says, F you. I am going to make the play of the game, and he did it. So Duke Shelley, he might not have many plays, but the one he had was beautiful. I want to think that Ed Dontel, after that play was made, looked at uh, Kevin O'Connell said, what the hell was Duke Shelley doing out there? Duke Shelley wasn't supposed to be out there. <laughs> Those are our five winners. Let us know who your winners were in the comments. Vikings 8-1, and one, beating the oh. Bills at home. Boom. Wow. 
I, I, it still sounds surreal to me. I love it. I love it. I keep saying it to me over and over again as I fall asleep tonight. And remember this. The average life expectancy is about 2.4 billion seconds. Oh, that's 